Hey bookends, welcome to a 10 min check-in. I'm 10. So this check-in is going to be our TBR for the POC, uh, POC a thon, which is persons or people of color a thon, which is basically just reading books that center on people of color. This bookathon or readathon is being hosted by the ghost reader Rajmika likes books. Um, who are the other people? Let me just take a look at this really quick. Kevin, the story glyph, and Kier, the scrivener. Scrivener, sorry. So let's just get into it. First reading prompt, read books featuring main characters that represent three different races or ethnicities. So for that, we chose The Disasters by MK England. So if you follow our channel, you know that we read this already and did a review. So I'll try to leave a link to our review in the cards. This follows Nazir, who for some reason goes by Nax. I have never heard of a Nazir that goes by Nax. So I'm pretty, you can tell this wasn't written by someone who actually went to school with people who have that name anyway so yes it follows Nazir and he is half Middle Eastern half I believe black to me it reads like his dad is black and and all American he's an American so those are three different things next one let's have a look Looking at my phone, guys. Read a book featuring an intersectional POC character. For example, a POC who is also queer, neurodivergent, or has a mental health disorder or disability. So for that, we chose Born by Jeff Vandermeer. That features a African-American woman by the name of uh, Rachel who is manic, bipolar, and possibly schizophrenic. And she is actually the hero of the book and it features her in a way that just shows her living her normal life and doing it to the best of her ability. So we loved Born. The next book on the list, let's see what the next prompt is. Read a book translated or if you're multilingual, read the book that, read a book that's not in your native tongue. Okay, so for translated, we have a book that we got at BookCon. It is Blossoms and a Golden Vase. And it was translated by the Braun Brothers. Well, no, I'm sorry. It's not translated by the Braun Brothers. It's about the Braun Brothers. Um, but... It's translated by Eugene and Victor Yang, who we met at BookCon. So this book is actually considered a erotica, or used to be considered an erotica in Japan. It's nothing erotic in it. So basically, it just talks about people doing stuff, but not graphically at all. It just says that uh, so-and-so kissed so-and-so that's it or so and so lay down with such and such that's it so it's not in any way erotic but it was banned for centuries because it mentioned people doing things and yeah it's actually a, a really good book it's about these two brothers one of them is kind of stumpy and feminine the other one's kind of strong but stupid and the stumpy but feminine one's wife I don't want to say fall in love with, but she starts to lust over his bigger, stronger brother. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting book. It's an interesting book. But that was translated. It was translated very well, and we enjoyed it. Next one. Read a poetry collection or a nonfiction book. So for that, we have another book from... Basically, most of these books are from Bacon. This book is a book of poetry feelings a world of pain so you see a little bow on it because we won it in a raffle and it is by Sahel Shokin 
and we met him and we i believe that he is middle eastern and i don't know too much about poetry i used to write it myself but i am you know no connoisseur on, on poetry so i like it you know um is it shakespearean no is it robert frost no but i liked it it was very emotional and very it was simple and emotional and i liked it so book of poetry uh read a book written by an author from a different continent so for that we have stan grant tell it to the world an indigenous memoir so stan grant is a reporter like a journalist and he is an aborigine from australia and this is i don't want to say it's his life story it's not it's a memoir so it's like um, a few years of his life where he discusses how it feels to be an indigenous reporter uh who reports on things that one affect his people and two that his people can't have and three things are like first world problems when you're coming from a third world place like how you have to to deal with that so really good and last prompt is read a graphic novel comic or manga or comic volume with a poc writer artist or colorist so for that we chose something that quite a few of you probably already have read or seen because kind of a popular series but monstrous which is a comic well it's more like a graphic novel it looks kind of like a comic but it's thick so it's kind of like a graphic novel and it is by Madri Liu and Sana Katata I'm sorry Takata Sana Katata so this book, it says magic, but it actually doesn't have magic in it. It's just people who are kind of like cyborgs and some people have powers, but there's no magic in it. Okay, so that is all six prompts for the books that we are doing for POC Athon. We've actually read all of them, but it's still nice to participate. If you have done a POC a thon video, please leave your link in the comments. We'd be more than happy to check it out. And also, if you just want to note what kind of books you would read during this, even if you don't want to follow all six prompts, by all means, let us know. Thanks for watching, Bookends. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Bye, Bookends.